Now you can import videos, GIF animations, spreadsheets and image sequences into your Spine Animation project with only a few clicks. This is Silver, the application that allows you to do all that. I will give you a quick tutorial on how to use Silver, the application that you see open here. In the first example, I am going to show you how to import a GIF animation into your Spine project. Here you see the Silver application. Because I have nothing imported yet, you do not see any frame preview or animation preview. So first things first, I am going to import the GIF animation by clicking on this Import Source Material button. Here I have already prepared different media files and I'm going to import this polar bear GIF animation. I just double click it. Now you can see every single animation frame and the preview of the animation itself. Now the Silver app automatically creates the image sequence and the JSON file that you can easily import into your Spine project. For that I'm going to select the project file on the, you already guessed it, select project file button. So I move into the correct directory and I open the bare project file. And lastly I need to select the image folder that is set for your Spine project. Now since in my bare project I do not have a separate image folder and use the directory of the Spine project itself, I can simply click on this little home icon. And it automatically set the folder in which the Spine project file is located. And before exporting everything, I just tick the add root bone key option. This option simply means that you can replay the animation right after importing it into your Spine project. And now all that's left to do is to click on export JSON. And it's done! As simple as that. Now you can simply go into your Spine project and import the created JSON file. So let me show you just that. I've opened up Spine, so let me load the project I'm looking for, for this example. I had the project recently open, so I can simply select the bare project. It's a small project, I have already created this walk animation for the bear. Now to import the JSON file we created, I click on the Spine menu and then on Import Data. Here I browse the JSON file, which will always be created right next to the Spine project file. So I move to the correct directory and here you have the JSON file and the image folder we created with Silver. So I double click our Polar Bear JSON file. I do not want to create a new project with the imported animation. In most cases you'll want to do the same. So if you have new project ticked, make sure you untick it. Since I want to import it as a new skeleton, I select that option and I click import. And there you have it. We've imported the GIF animation into our spine project. Let me make the bones visible real quick. I'll place the polar bear over here for now. And if we switch to animate mode, you can now see the polar bear animating. Perfect! If we go to the end of the animation, you can see that thanks to the root bone key we added, we are able to play back the entire animation we imported. If I move the root bone, the animation disappears. Now, if I go back into setup mode, I can rearrange and scale the polar bear, adjust its opacity, so that I can place it directly over my own bear and use it as a reference for my walking animation, if that was the purpose for it. And just in the same way, you can import MP4 videos or APNG and WebP animations. In my next example, 
I'm going to show you how to import sprite sheets into your spine project. The process is exactly the same as before, only this time we need to cut up the sprite sheet into its individual frames before exporting the JSON file. So I'll import a sprite sheet to show you how it's done. Here in the FX folder I have several sprite sheets. Let's go with the blood splash animation. Here we have imported the sprite sheet and as you can see it is one single image. And that is obviously not what we want. So in order to cut it up I go to the modify section and tell it exactly how many frames there are in the sprite sheet. You see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 frames in a horizontal line, so I'm gonna type that in, and as well 4 frames in a vertical line. Now that I've divided the sprite sheet correctly, I can simply click on the crop sprite sheet button, which also makes the animation preview with the cutout frames visible. And clearly 2 frames per second is way too slow for this animation, so let me change that quickly. That's much better. And now it's exactly like before, I only need to select the project file and the image folder and I'm good to go. Like before I load the project file, this time I want to import it into a fight animation project. I have no separate image folder so I can simply click the home button and we're good to go. Let's export the JSON file. And now we can move into the spine project and import everything. I have opened the fighter spine project. So let's quickly import our sequence just as we did before. Once more I unselect new project because I want to import it into the current project and then I browse the created blood splash JSON file. I click on import and voila we have imported the sprite sheet animation, as easy as that. And now you can freely modify and adjust it and make it fit into your animation, if you want to. I want to give you one last example on how to import an image sequence. Obviously, you can import any image sequence from anywhere into any spine project. But what if you want to import an image sequence into your spine project that is already located inside your spine project's image folder? Well, good news for you, Silver can do that too and save you all the hustle of the manual setup. So let's go ahead and import the image sequence. Inside the DAF project folder I browse to the correct directory. You can see that our sequence contains 350 frames that we want to import. So I select all of the frames and import them into silver. Now the imported animation looks a little bit slow, so I'm going to increase the frame rate. That looks alright. Now let's take a look at the project folder we're working with. So here you see we have our DAF spine project and this time around we also have a separate image folder inside which our image sequence is located. That means that for this example we will select a separate image folder. So first I browse the DAF spine project as we did before and now I'm also gonna browse the project's image folder, which is this folder right here. Since we already have the files located inside the spine project directory, we don't want to export them a second time. All we need is the JSON file. And in order to do that, we simply select the option skip image export. And we're good to go. With the JSON file created, we can now simply go into our Spine project and import the image sequence. I opened up Spine and loaded our DAF project file, which contains this very basic fly animation. So I go right ahead and import the JSON file we made. I unselect new project, as I did before, but this time around I don't want to create a new skeleton, I want to import it into the existing one. Now I browse the JSON file Imported Now I'm gonna wait for a few seconds until Spine has loaded all of the 350 new images And now I can include and modify the sequence in my animation And to easier modify the image sequence 
let me place it inside of a bone. So I select the image sequences image slot to place it inside of a bone. Now let me move the image up a little bit, that should be about right. And let's go into animation mode. Since we imported the image sequence into an existing skeleton, Spine does not import all the animation keyframes of the JSON file. So I need to add the keyframe myself. Let's select our image sequence. And right here down below, I'm gonna key the image sequence on frame 0 to start the animation. And you can see right here that the sequence is now animating. Now you might see that the background animation is a little bit slow because Spine's default frame rate is 12 frames per second. So on frame 0 where I keyframed it, I set it back to 24. I press enter and now we have this beautiful perfect animated background. So that's how you set up an image sequence with Silver. It's fairly simple. If you're using Silver and you have any further questions about it, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I will make sure to answer everyone. Until then, have fun using Silver and most importantly, have fun animating! This has been Line in a Box and thank you for watching!